okay, so you go to Oklahoma State University, and were you a superstar on that team as well? Yeah. A leading scorer. Leading school. Actually, I was the leading scorer freshman in the nation that year. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Behind Mark Macon. So, okay. So I was pretty good, yeah. Were you in uh, Oklahoma State all four years? No, no, I left like my third year I left and that's when I went to go play basketball in Israel. Okay, so the, the three years that you were at o Oklahoma State, how well did the school do? Mediocre, I would say mediocre. Uh, you know, I didn't, I, I should have, I actually, I, to this day, I wish I had chose another school, even though I like Oklahoma State, but basketball wise, I could have chosen a better program, I felt. Because I, where I played basketball in high school, it was more like how Arkansas and Georgetown play. We just rip and run and press. And that's why I had, I had scholarship offers of Georgetown and Arkansas. But I chose Oklahoma State because it was close to the house and my mother could come see me play in college. Uh, okay, so here you are, the leading scorer in the country on a team that's not really keeping up with you. Right. So I'm sure that was frustrating. Yeah, it was. It was. It's very okay. frustrating because I, I don't like losing. I'm like, I yeah. like winning championships. That's what makes you, you know. I grew up to the point where there's always a winner. Ain't none of that we all win. Now somebody has to lose. <laughs> somebody has to win. <laughs> well, before you end up going to college, you tried crack for the first time, like you said. As you're going to school, does the drug use continue? Yeah. Actually, when I got to school, I, I, my first semester, I, I was just so happy to be in college and stuff. I almost drank and smoked myself out of, out of school. I think I had like a point seven GPA. I wasn't going to class. You know, I was just partying. They, they, it wasn't nothing like them to see me coming out the girls' dorm rooms and stuff. I was just having fun until they told me I wouldn't be able to play basketball because of my grades. So then I had to kind of leave out some of that alone, but the drug use continued. It always, yeah, it continued. My freshman year, like towards the end of my freshman year, I got suspended. Right after we wow. played the OU Sooners when they were ranked number one, we was playing OU in Norman, they were ranked number one. I had my one of my best college games. I was talking crazy. I guess they thought my, my game play was too good, so they test me. <laughs> And I ended up flunking, so I ended up having to go to a rehab for the rest of the sem uh, semester. Now, I mean, college players aren't supposed to be getting paid. Uh, they go to school and they get free tuition and free room and board, but they're not really getting money. And if you're if you're playing full time like you are, you probably can't really have a great job. So, how are you getting the money to support your drug habit? Well, I had I had a grant. That was one of them. And the second one is, it was me. So they hooked me up so I wouldn't have to worry about it. <laughs> Cause you know, I'm, I'm the player, I'm the star player on the team. You know, so they had to take care of you too. So, but, but half the time, I, di I didn't really have that much money. I didn't really have it to, cause I didn't really do that much of it. Cause I didn't have the money for it. But if I had the money, I probably would. But I made, I used to make it last certain ways. I made it last. Okay. And when you talk about crack, it comes with a lot of bad experiences, uh, a lot of bad decisions. What do you think during college was the worst situation you got in, in terms of the drug use? Getting a girl pregnant. Okay, she that'd kept be, it? That'd be it, yeah. Okay, so you became a father at what, like 19, 20? Honestly, I, I, that's what I hear. We never did finalize it, but I think we never did take bl blood tests or whatever, but the timing is right. And plus mother's intuition. My mother even said, uh, so I don't know. I'm about, I'm gonna try oh. to find out though. Once I get my book wrote, I'm gonna try to get a hold of my whole family again. Okay, so you never really maintain a contact with your child. Right. Okay. So you do three years in college and the NBA draft comes around. No, I go to Israel then. Oh, for right. a year. you go to Israel first, right? Yeah, because I wanted to make some money and stuff. So I, 
Uh, my agent, he got me a job in Israel, so I went over there and played in Israel during the Gulf War. Okay. But then you came back and entered the draft. Right. And you were picked 46th. Right. In the, in the 91 draft uh, by the Phoenix Suns. Yes. Uh, I guess you didn't even know you were going to get drafted. I guess you were like on your way out the door and then you heard your name. Yeah, because uh, there was like speculation. There was like a little rumor or something that I was supposed to go to like to the Houston Rockets, like number eight or something. But, you know, with my background, you know, they don't want to take a chance on it. So they took actually took a friend of mine. We had the same agent. So they, they let me go out. I, I just kept seeing these names and I'm like, I'm better than them. I'm like, really? But, you know, I haven't been around. I hadn't been in the States. I've been in Israel. So they really didn't know. They just knew me from the combines that we had in Chicago. But I, but I, I just went in there, just did my job. And, but when they didn't let, I didn't hear my name coming up after about 36 or something. I said, man, I'm just going to go to the club. And right, right then, that's when, right when I was heading out the door, there it came. I was like, oh, shoot. Okay. Well, I just want to jump to this real quick. You mentioned you got arrested while you were going to college? Yeah. What was that for? Made a beer run. I don't, it was one of those stupid college things. We had money, so we went to a store. I grabbed a beer, ran out, and my friend took out in the car. But we, they had somebody following us. Somebody ended up following us, which we didn't know. So he had a little small car, so we go on and hit a dirt road. So his car breaks down. So he takes off. I'm like, I'm just going to stay here because so, I ain't going to try to run through all these woods and stuff because it makes it worse. I already knew I was wrong. I just got to take the consequences. So they ended up, I just waited on the cops. They ended up arresting me. And I didn't do nothing but get like a probation or something, if I remember right. Okay, but that showed up when the NBA started looking at you in terms of, you know, your potential to, to join the league? Right. That's, that's, that's when I came to the Chicago Combines. Okay. 